Hey guys, just wanted to unpack the mental imaging part of what I was talking about in the previous video. So you don't have to dig too far into neuroscience to know that the cortex of your brain, the wrinkly part where most people have strokes, um, if that was unraveled out, it would cover a square metre of table. Now half of that, the back part of your brain, is dedicated to visual processing. Half of your cortex is dedicated to it. So mental imaging is its not only important, it's crucial to recovery. Um, if you can't see yourself doing it, you'll never ever do it. Specify your goals, pick something you want you want to do with specifically with your left hand, like I I open every door with my left hand. We'll call it constraint induced therapy where you tie your right arm behind your back and you force yourself to do you, you use your left hand. Well I do that myself. So I I open the car door for my partner with my left hand. I I, I drive a manual old old car on purpose with no power steering because it's really hard to drive and it's making me stronger every single day. So force yourself to use your, your stroke affected hand. Force yourself and force yourself. I've mentioned picking apples as therapy before and I got a few funny comments about it. it we had a bit of a laugh, but um, I can't see a better therapy than that. If you're, if you're reasonably healthy before your stroke and then you have one in summer, the following summer, I, I'd like you to be picking apples. You might only pick four or five for the day, but I can't see anything better than that. Using, using your whole body, using your arm, using everything you can to get better.